Well, as the kids head back to school, families are looking for new ways to spend a little extra time together. One way to help get everyone together and get their brains back in gear is with brain building board games. Joining us today with some challenging game options for the family is Vice President of Creative at Spin Master, Scott Brown. Welcome, Scott. Thanks. Good to be here. Happy to have you here. So with everyone gearing up for school right now, how can board games help ease our brains back into school mode a little bit? Yeah, so even though it still feels like summer in a lot of places, families are going back to school. I've got four daughters at home, and I know how busy it can get with school going. And so what we're trying to do is create uh, a reason to get together as a family still. And I found that when I get a game out and put it on a table, it's like a magnet for my kids. They're drawn to it. And it's a really great way that we as a family can still find time to spend time together. So are there any strategy-based games that are perfect for families and family game nights? I've got a really good one here. This is called Otrio. Otrio is based on tic-tac-toe, tic-tac-toe, but it fixes a broken piece of tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe, I don't like very much because it almost always ends in a tie. And I like to win. So we fixed that. We made this beautiful game. It's carbonized bamboo. You're proud to leave it out on your coffee table because games that get left out get played. And the way you play this game is by trying to get three in an O. And you can do that in three ways. You can do it by getting three of your color in a row, same sized, three of your color in ascending or descending size, or all three of your color in one concentric circle. And you get any of those three and you win. The problem is all the other players are also trying to do the same thing and the board becomes this kind of jumble of colors. And it's really confusing but really fun. And that will um, get your brain working. For those that are, <laughs> it will get your brain working. And, and I recognize it's kind of big, so you can't always take it with you on the go. So we made a travel version of the same game we call Go Trio. It's a great game, compact. You can slip it into a purse and play it at a restaurant. All right. What else do you have on the table there? This is called Rock Me Archimedes. So everyone's familiar with checkers. You're trying to get your pieces from one side of the board to the other. Well, we've put checkers on a teeter-totter. And so while you're playing, you're trying to keep a balance in the board. If at any point you cause the board to touch the table, you lose. So you've got to balance your offensive and defensive strategy and keep balance in the board while you play. Oh, wow. That is, wow. That one actually looks really cool. I'd definitely do that. So we wanted to... Yeah get up and be a little interactive with our gameplay, what options do we have there? Yeah, for those that want to get out of their seat a little bit, we've got a couple of really great options. One's called Stomple. And in Stomple, each player, there's up to six players in this game, each player has a stomper. They're stomping down the marbles on their turn, trying to be the last stomper standing. Your goal is to trap your opponent by making it so they have no marbles to stomp onto. So really great for those that like a little stomping action in their game. And then Pokey Doki is for those word skill lovers. So if you're looking to brush up on your vocabulary skills, but you don't want to spend two hours doing it. This is a fast-paced word game. You're poking letters out as fast as you can from the bottom row. The opponent is doing the exact same thing, though. They're poking in the opposite direction. So it's poke or be poked. Whoever pokes <laughs> the most words out wins the game. Oh, I'm going to win that game. I love word games. Okay. I'm definitely going to get that. So right. tell us where we can get more information on these games. Yeah, you can go to your local toy and game shop, or you can go to Target or Target.com. Oh, super easy. Thank you so much, Scott. Really appreciate yeah. you being here. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.